Bureko. I'm Pratika. Welcome to my channel. So today, after a very long time, I am going to be sharing with you guys my current favorite nude lipsticks. I know it's been a very long time, but trust me, I have such amazing shades that I want to share with you guys. I've been loving these shades every single day. I've been wearing a lot of these, and they just look so beautiful. So in this video, I am of course going to tell you how the lipsticks perform, whether they are transfer proof. Whether they are comfortable, how long they last, if you eat, what all happens. So it's gonna be a little bit more longer because I'm gonna explain every formula of every lipstick in detail so that you get a clear idea as to how the lipsticks perform. So yeah, I think let's quickly get started because there are some amazing shades I want to share with you guys. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. Now let's get started. Before I get started with the lipsticks, I am going to share a lip liner that has been my current favorite. I haven't used any other lip liner ever since I got this because it is such a perfect lip shade. I, I mean, a lip liner shade. I'm talking about the LA Colors Gel Lip Liner in the shade Cafe. It retails for just rupees three ninety nine. It's very pigmented and. I'm just gonna show it to you. The shade is just the perfect nude for me. It's like that pinky brown, deeper nude shade that I need to line my lips. So it is like a good three to four shades darker than my lip color, and it defines my lips really well. It applies very smoothly. It is transfer proof as well. It does not smudge. It's very very long lasting, and it goes with. All of my nude lip shades. I just like to apply it all over my lips. I am wearing it on my lips right now. I will show you the lipstick also that I'm wearing. But first, let me talk about the lip liner. So this is the lip liner that I'm wearing. It defines my lips very well. It makes them look pretty sharp and powdered as well. And then I like to go ahead and fill it with any nude shade. It is just so good. And for the price, it is the best eyeliner and lip liner out there. So yeah, if you're looking for a good Nude lip liner. I think you should definitely look at this because its shade is just beautiful. Now let's come to the lipstick that I'm wearing. I have been obsessed with this color. It's just so beautiful. Again, it's a mix of pink and brown. So I am talking about the Verified Liquid Lipstick, and the shade is Pink Hot Cocoa. And of course, this is a matte lipstick. Transfer proof, as you can see, it's very comfortable on the lips. And the formula is also very pigmented. The applicator is amazing. And if you don't know, Verified is a brand by a content creator here called as Anam, and she has her own brand called as Verified. She has some blushes, highlighters, and these are the lipsticks. And this particular shade from her range is like my <laughs> nude shade. It is so good. Look at that. It is. Like that dusky pinky brown shade, which I love, and it just looks so beautiful. It does not crack. Of course, if you go ahead and eat something, it does come off a little bit, but you can definitely go ahead and reapply, reapply the lipstick, and it's still not gonna feel uncomfortable or heavy or thick or anything of that sort. A very good formula for a very good price. So this is like my favorite currently. I have been loving this particular shade. So definitely try it out and let me know what you guys think. Next is this lipstick that I am wearing on my lips. This is the Maybelline's Color Sensational Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade More Taupe. Now this is such a beautiful, warm tone, brown nude as you can see, and the actual formula is a bullet lipstick formula. So these are creamy to apply, but they have. Like a very soft matte finish. They are very pigmented, as you can see. These are not transfer proof, but you can definitely reapply it as many times as you want, and they are still going to be so comfortable to wear. They are very lightweight on the lips, and the color just looks so beautiful. They just look so soft on the lips, and just give me this very pretty soft matte look. And I love that, and I love this particular shade because it is this warm toned brown shade which I am all about. So yeah. This is my next favorite nude lipstick, so definitely again a very affordable option. I have this particular one which I recently purchased. This is the Mars Dripping Syrup lipstick, and this is in the shade. Poppins. Now this is so affordable, firstly, and this is the shade 
let me swatch it for you now this is like a warm tone brown as you can see so now let me talk about the formula of this lipstick first now this has a bullet lipstick formula but once you apply it they become completely transfer proof they are comfortable on the lips they are not drying at all but they are budge proof which is amazing it applies creamy but dries matte to a comfortable matte and actually pretty pigmented as well so first let's apply it so can you see this is like that reddish brown nude shade which is a little bit more on the deeper side and it looks so beautiful it becomes like a statement color but it's still in the neutral nude lip shade range and i love love such lip shades because it just makes my entire look pop and my face pop so this is again a very very beautiful lip color and like i said it's transfer proof it feels very comfortable on the lips you can definitely reapply it if you eat it does come off a little bit but you can definitely reapply it again and it's still going to be very very comfortable and lightweight on the lips and the formula is amazing and these are very affordable the mars one they have quite a lot of shades but i really love the shade poppins so yeah this is my next favorite nude shade is like my top favorite nude lip color i am talking about the elf liquid matte lipstick in the shade praline you guys must have seen me using this so much it is so beautiful the lip color is so beautiful now again i like to apply my lip liner and then i like to fill it with this particular lipstick so i'm just going to do that and then we'll talk about it So now that it has completely dried as you can see now this is a beautiful pinky cool tone brown nude lip color and it's like such a unique shade i haven't found this particular shade in my entire lipstick collection now let me talk about the formula now the formula is very very pigmented it's not that very liquidy liquid lipstick formula it is a little bit more on the thicker side and it dries off completely matte it's transfer proof and like i said it's very very pigmented and the applicator is also actually very very precise as you can see this is the color it's such a beautiful nude shade if you are into like that pinky cool tone brown lip color you need this particular shade in your life because it looks so good on indian skin especially if you like like a bronzy look brown nude lips it's like the perfect combination i love applying this as my blush as well so it gives me this monotone look which looks so pretty i have quite a lot of videos where i have actually used this particular lip color so you can definitely check out my instagram i have so many looks using this particular lipstick but yeah this is a liquid lipstick formula it's very comfortable it's very lightweight on the lips but if you do eat it is going to come off so you can definitely go ahead and reapply it it's again a very lightweight formula and will last you throughout the day very beautiful on my lips i love love this lip color to bits Next I have the NYX lip lingerie push up long lasting lipstick in the shade Seduction. Yes, this is in the shade Seduction. Now this is my favorite daytime nude shade. So let me show you the actual shade. It is a warm toned pinky brown as you can see. It's very pigmented. It's a bullet lipstick. It has a creamy formula but it is matte on the lips. Let's apply it. as you can see now this is like a proper warm tone brown nude and when i am doing like my daytime look where i'm just applying some blush a little bit of concealer and a very light makeup this is what i like to wear cuz it just makes my face look very very bright and you know very fresh so i love this lip color for that purpose now this is like a very pigmented formula 
it's not like completely transfer proof it does transfer a little bit but it does have a very cooling texture it texture to it once you apply it you will feel that coolness on your lips and that just makes your lips a little bit more on the pouty side it just happens naturally so i love that about it and like i said the formula is very comfortable it is very pigmented very easy to apply very lightweight on the lips long lasting as well and of course if you eat you have to reapply it a little bit because it does come off from the center because whatever food we eat it's a little bit oily and oil takes off any liquid lipstick or any lipstick for that matter so definitely you can reapply it it's very comfortable lightweight even if you reapply it doesn't settle in the cracks as you can see it's a very smooth application and the color is so beautiful and it's such a pretty pretty shade been like a couple of minutes since it is still drying it does take a little bit time to dry off completely and then it turns completely matte and then we will talk about what lipstick this is this is the miss claire's soft matte lip cream and the shade is 14 now you guys know that i had done like a complete video on the next soft i mean the miss claire soft matte lip creams and in that this particular shade was not there i think this is like a new shade in this particular range now this is like a proper brown shade like a brown nude shade it has a little bit of warmth it has a little bit of coolness so you can call it like a neutral brown lip color which is actually really difficult to find in the market and i was looking for one and that's when i came across this next i mean again miss less of my lip cream in the shade 14 now it is not a very very pigmented lipstick you have to like reapply it again and again to get the max pigmentation out of this particular formula but once it dries off it's actually completely like a transfer proof matte lipstick it's very comfortable on the lips you can definitely reapply it but it does come off very easily so you need to carry this wherever you go if you are wearing this lip color that is what i usually do but i love this lip color it's comfortable it's matte in formula it's not drying on the lips whatsoever for the price i feel like the formula is actually very good but yeah here and there there are quite a lot of compromises where you have to wait for quite some time for it to dry and then it does come off easily so you have to reapply it these are not like very long lasting these will last you around 2 to 3 hours so you have to keep reapplying this particular lipstick if you're eating or if you're just rubbing it it does you know tend to dull down a little bit but i love this color and i love the way it looks on my lips and i really really like the formula cuz it's very comfortable on the lips and since it's a soft matte lip cream it has a very soft matte texture as well which looks very flattering on the lips very soft on the lips like it's your own lips but better I have the Love Earth's Liquid Mousse lipstick in the shade Espresso Martini. Now, this is again a very very beautiful nude shade. It's a more warm tone, pinky brown shade as you can see. I'm going to apply it and then we'll talk about the formula. Now like you can see it has dried completely matte it took like 1 minute to dry completely matte and it is a liquid lipstick formula the formula is more on the liquidy side even though it says mousse it is like a liquid lipstick formula like i said if i show it to you it's a pretty thin liquidy formula and it's very very pigmented very comfortable on the lips very lightweight you can definitely go ahead and reapply it it's not going to feel heavy it's very lightweight again it does not settle in the cracks or anything of that sort and doesn't feel heavy on the lips like i said it's affordable as well and the color is just so pretty it is that pinky brown nude shade which I'm all about. So yeah, that's my next favorite nude lip color. Now, next is a lip color 
color that I have loved since a very long time and it used to come in a bullet lipstick formula. It still does come in the bullet lipstick formula but that's not like completely matte. It is a little bit more on the you know creamy matte side which I love but I still prefer like completely matte lipsticks because I feel like my lips look much more fuller and much more flattering that way. So I am talking about the Maybelline's Color Sensational Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Nude Nuance. If you are an OG you know I used to love the shade Nude Nuance from the creamy matte range and I am so happy that they came in the liquid lipstick formula. So I'm gonna apply it and show you the shade actually. Like you can see it has dried completely matte it takes like one minute to dry completely matte and the formula is more of a moussey texture it's a little bit of a thicker formula compared to a liquid lipstick which is very liquidy it is a little thicker and once you apply it you need to apply like two layers minimum to get the maximum opacity out of this lipstick and once it dries it's very comfortable on the lips it turns completely matte it is of course transfer proof and it's very lightweight on the lips you definitely have to go ahead and reapply it if you eat something because it does rub off from the middle it's a very long wearing lipstick if you apply it in the morning it will stay throughout the night and the formula again is very very beautiful lightweight and feels very very soft on the lips as you can see and next is this NYX lip lingerie xxl matte liquid lipstick in the shade warm up now this is again a shade which i wear a lot during the daytime because it is that warm tone pinky nude shade i want to show it to you first it has this very beautiful formula Now like you can see it has turned completely matte and this is the only pinky nude shade that I like from my collection and I wear it pretty often you know during the daytime especially because it just makes the entire look you know a little bit more fresh when I'm wearing like a very neutral no makeup makeup look or something pinky this is the lip color that I used to wear and I love love the formula of this because it is a very uh, like once you apply it it has a very creamy formula like you can see and it's very very pigmented and it's that deeper pinky nude shade it's not like a light pink shade which will wash me out and it just complements my skin again and I love that because a lot of pink shades don't complement my skin tone but this one does and it looks so pretty it's very pigmented very comfortable very lightweight on the lips and it does not rub off you know it is a very very long lasting lipstick if I apply it in the morning it will not come out till the night time and of course it is transfer proof as well but it is very very comfortable you can reapply it even if you apply layers and layers of this particular lipstick it is still so lightweight i love the formula and you get quite a lot of product in this particular tube <laughs> very unique shade with me which falls in the deeper nude section but it has a very different color I am talking about the love child by Masaba mad matte liquid lipstick in the shade it fits this is what it looks like now this was a new brand that was launched recently it's Masaba's brand so I actually wanted to try it out so I ordered a couple of shades and this particular shade turned out to be so good and you can see it's a little bit more on the deeper side I'm gonna show it to you and it's like a cool tone mix of purple and brown which is very very unique let me apply it Now like you can see it's a very unique lip color it's a little vampy but it still falls in that nude lip color range because it has a little bit of brown and it's not like super dark it is dark it's more on the deeper nude side but this shade is just so different and I feel like in the winter season this shade is gonna be like perfect because winter season you can wear like cool tone vampy nude shades and it still looks amazing like the cold weather is amazing for such lip colors and the formula like you saw is very pigmented it's a liquid lipstick formula very comfortable and again these are transfer proof lipsticks let me show it to you 
you see that there's no transfer whatsoever very comfortable very lightweight opaque formula and will last throughout the day again of course you can reapply it if you eat if it comes off you can definitely reapply it doesn't settle in cracks does not feel heavy whatsoever and of course if you want something in your collection that will look different this is something you could try because i know a lot of you guys like to try like different lip shades and i feel like this is a very very unique lip color in my collection and it looks very very sexy i can say that and will look amazing in the winter season so yeah this is my next favorite new lip color last one that i want to share with you is actually a repurchase i had this like a long time back and i used to love it back then and i was like i need this color back in my life cuz it was like my everyday lip color the everyday nude lip color i am talking about the nyx powder puff lippy in the shade cool intentions now i had a full swatch video on these and this was my favorite shade from that collection and i used to wear it so much so i'm going to apply it cuz the formula was very unique and the applicator also was very unique i am so glad that i repurchased this particular lip color cuz it's so pretty now it is that pinky brown cool tone nude lip color which i am all about now this is like the bang on dew for my mac over the top the powder kiss over the top liquid lip color that i have i had mentioned that in my previous top favorite nude lipsticks and i still love it to bits i didn't mention it in this video cuz i wanted to show you my new collection but that still has to be my favorite i wore it on my wedding i can wear it in my purse i wear it every single day without thinking that color always suits me and this is exactly like a bang on dew for that color and also the formula is very very similar this is less opaque than that one but it has this very soft powdery finish matte lip color and it's not a transfer proof lip lipstick as you can see if i do kiss it quite a lot of transfer is there on my hand but it makes my lips look so soft and pillowy and luxurious like luxurious feeling but like velvety matte texture which i love on my lips it just looks very very pretty and soft and just my lips look very very juicy and pouty i love that so yeah this is my last favorite nude lipstick and i am so happy that i really repurchased it cuz it's such a pretty color so yeah those are my current favorite nude lipsticks i hope you liked it let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite and if you all did like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'm going to go now and i'll see you all in my next video very soon and then